to Carbs Talk iVisions TV entertainment segment. I am here with John Raven Hall from um, Johnny Boy Entertainment in the UK. He actually actually came here in the US uh, Tampa to come visit with us. Uh, thank you very much, John, for you know gracing us with your presence. You're welcome and uh, hello. <laughs> can you give us a little bit of information on yourself and your background? Of course. I'm what you call a record producer, UK record producer. I've been doing it uh, 30 years now, so I'm one of the old school. Um, and I run a label uh, out of London called Johnny Boy Records. And uh, we are lucky enough to have Universal as our distributor and EMI is our publisher. And fundamentally, um, there's two sides to um, my work. There's building the label, and we're a young label right now. We've just signed our first two artists and are looking to um, expand on that, and I'll come back to that. But my real bread and butter is um, making records for other artists. So I've had the privilege over the last 30 years to literally wander around the world recording albums for all kinds of people. And um, it's been a great life. Well, you say you like young blood, but you've also been in the business for 30 years. Yeah. Uh, tell us about some of the artists that you have produced over the past couple of years, or the past 30 years. Well, I've been very privileged. I've had the, um, the honor to work with people like uh, Paul McCartney, or Sir Paul now, I guess, um, Sting, um, Elton John, or again, Sir Elton, um, artists like uh, Jimmy Cliff, I've uh, worked with uh, Cool the Gang, uh, Van Morrison, Rod Stewart, uh, Bronsky Beat, uh, the list goes on. I think I'm a nearly 180 albums into my career now. But my, my love, my real love, is developing young artists or helping young artists uh, get their first step into the musical world. And that's really difficult for anybody, especially now with the internet. Um, there's a frightening statistic that's out of the UK alone, I think is about 1.8 million tracks a year recorded. And all of that music is trying to get out into the street. Now, some of it should be buried in the large hall and never seen ever again. <laughs> On the other hand, with a little bit of help and expertise from people who have had the experience, we can help. And one of the reasons I'm here is because um, through uh, John Setter at Rising Sun, we came across a young artist uh, called Rebecca Skolnick, who we started recording uh, a single with, and um, we're midway through now, just about to start mixing. The record's fantastic. But it, it was a combination. John spotted the artist, we talked, I know the European market, and now we're making the record. Um, and going back to the label, the label has now been commissioned um, by quite a, a large TV company to supply music for um, TV in the US. And one of the programs, which is called Toast Confidential, is a showcase for young up and coming artists. So of course it's ideal for someone like Rebecca because now we can make the records and hopefully get her onto the show. She can showcase on the show. That's 30 million people right there. Now that's a big injection into her career as opposed to making a single, trying to get it on radio in her local town. Um, and that's the beauty of being international because we have international contacts and TV is massive. And um, it's exciting. It's, um, it's going to be exciting. So the program is fundamentally a coffee house called Toast in uh, or on What's the right language there? In or on? Long Island in New York. <laughs> in. And um, it's a franchise. It's a, pro, it's a reality show about uh, the, them franchising this coffee house, which is very interesting. Lots of art on the walls and great music in the background and, and also has live artists. But franchising this model around other cities in the US. And the idea is that with each program, there's a launch party. And my job is to appear on television to present each artist to the coffee house owner to say, this is the artist we're going to have this week. And what we're hoping is that, of course, he's not going to like the artist and I'm going to be persuading him. So there's going to be a natural, uh, there was this going on there. 
and we should have some fun. But but the serious part of it is, if we choose our artists carefully, it means that your artist could literally generate 300,000 downloads right from the off. Whereas if an artist makes a track now and simply puts it out there, which is why I love uh, John Seller's uh, Born to Be a Musician idea, there, there is no help. But now through John there is. But with something like this, where we all bond together and we can hit television hard, fantastic for any young artist. And that's fundamentally where we are at the moment, exciting times. So if I'm understanding you clearly, you're saying that there is an opportunity for artists from Tampa Bay to appear on this show. Absolutely. Uh, can give us some more information on that and how they can submit their information. There's no limit to the kind of music um, it's got to be interesting, of course. It's got to be uh, something that the public would enjoy watching, clearly. I, I'd love to say it shouldn't be covers, but there again, sometimes you meet people with grave voices who don't write. But ideally, uh, if I can get young artists who, or young bands, doesn't have to be a solo artist, um, who write their own material and have something interesting to say, um, then we would seriously consider it. And um, obviously we can talk about how, how to get that uh, music. Obviously, best things to go through John Setter here in Rising Sun. But um, we're up for anything which is fascinating, interesting, exciting. And if, and if that's you out there, you know where we are. So it's no rules. The game is wide open, but you got to be good. Okay, so our Tampa viewers, actually, this is the first time um, you're sub telling this to someone yes. in the media. So they're getting it live and direct first hand. And you're getting it first hand and first shot at it. So get a move on. How many iris are you um, looking for? In total at the moment, we're looking for 12. And you have how many of those 12? We have uh, three, two definite, one we're hoping. Okay, so we have 10 spots for Tampa Bay viewers and artists. We have 10 thing. spots open. And in addition to that, um, I'm also supplying the music for two more TVs uh, for the background now um, behind uh, a drama documentary called Clock and Dagger, which is about 17th century US spies. A bit like a James Bond, really, uh, except in the 17th century. And it is a documentary, but it is going to be um, dramatic. And they're shooting that in West Virginia. And we're looking for indie band music, a bit of rock and roll to sit behind um, the action on that TV program. And the third program we're involved with at the moment, which is called Synchronicity, is about uh, a scientist who's also a hairstylist. Sounds interesting already. Um, and he has come up with a formula that changes the molecular structure of hair if you believe that, but let's see. So there's going to be uh, six episodes of that where there's going to be lots of action in hair salons and uh, it's going to be kind of, it's going to be kind of a, um, an interesting no holds barred program. So we're looking for music for that which has no bounds. It can be dance, it can be pop, it can be crazy, it can be, but it needs to be extreme. Nothing middle of the road. This needs to be out there, really out there, exciting, fun, you know, creating edges, pushing boundaries. That's what it needs to be. So, John, that's amazing information. Uh, how can someone get involved in this production? Uh, and John will help me do the, the screening here. And um, so get involved. If you've got anything out there, even if you're thinking you might have something, get something recorded or talk to John. He'll get it recorded for you and um, get it into us because uh, it could be fantastic fun. Very good. Is there any last minute message uh, you would like to give our musicians and viewers out there? I think if I could give you anything and it came in, form, in the form of an injection or a pill, let's, let's start there, it would be perseverance because this business has everything to do with perseverance. It's to do with getting out there and doing it and gigging and raising fan base and raising 
all those things you need. You have to get out and do it. If there's anybody there sitting in a room thinking that they can put music together and one day a magic wand is going to happen, believe me, they have more chance of getting murdered by their own trousers than that track or that music ever seeing the light of day. So what I would say is perseverance. Get out and do it and knock on doors and get people's attention with your music. And I, I, I sound very passionate about that, but I really believe it. Don't hang around. Get on with it. How's that? Very good. I thought so. <laughs> well, I actually have one more question. Of course. Um, the mass and the majority of our viewers are Caribbean um, ethnicity. Is there an opportunity for Caribbean people as well? Are you looking for Caribbean music, reggae, soca? Absolutely. Yeah? I, I think anything which is interesting. I mean, we... <laughs> Music has no bounds, and I don't think any of us should start restricting the idea that it should only be this type of music, you know, R&B. You know, the thing about R&B, like rap, there's some great rap, and there's some stuff that truly sucks. The same with R&B, the same with pop, the same with soccer, the same with Caribbean. It's across the board. So if it's exciting, get it, get it to us. There are no bounds here. We're looking for great music wherever it comes from. And let's put it this way. If I met a singing horse tomorrow and it had a great song, I'd be signing it. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, John. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> uh, this is Kira Blades with iVision TV. Um, remember, you, hear, you heard it here first. Send your music and your demo to John Sita or send him an email or go on his website at www.bornamusician.com.